Good evening, everyone. Mixed martial arts is becoming one of the most popular sports in the country. Many teenagers and adults are learning to cage fight, and some of them came out to Escanaba to, to, to participate in the Lights Out Fight 4 event. Gladstone American Legion Post 71 presented the colors. At 190 pounds, Iron Mountain's Joe Wollum is on top of Iron River's Jeff Eau Claire, but Eau Claire is able to wiggle out of the trouble. Then he cranks out a nasty arm bore that forces, that forces Wollum to tap out at 103 on the second round. Referee Jeff Mace was the third man in the cage tonight. At 205 pounds, Matt White of Wisconsin was giving up nine inches in height to six foot five Jacques Boudreaux of Lake Linden. The flying Frenchman was able to throw White to the mat a couple of times. White was able to survive until the second round when Boudreaux connected here, sending White down. And that match ended in a TKO at 116 with Boudreaux happy and his, sand, and his fans satisfied. At 155 pounds, Escanaba's Bill Brown is in black and red trunks. He takes down Houghton's Bubba Smith quite nicely in the first 30 seconds of the first round. But Smith's mom leads the cheering section. Smith rallies towards the end of the round one. Smith keeps the momentum going in round two and he scores the TKO about halfway through the round. Mom is happy with Bubba's performance. To 185 pounds, obnoxious Rob Keller of Sheboygan, Wisconsin in the gray and red trunks runs into Watersmeet and recent NMU grad Simon Zielinski. First round action and Zielinski connects with a couple of punches and a knee. Then it's third, third three straight knees to the head of Keller and referee Mace has seen enough. Simon says this bout over at 58 seconds. 15 bounce were on the card tonight at the UP State Fairgrounds with most of the matches involving Upper Peninsula mixed martial artists. And from there we go to high school baseball and man's best friend was cozy and warm in that sweater watching Gladstone and Nagani at the Escanaba Lions Club Invitational. Miners get the lead in the first inning. Tyler Jandrin in ground ball scores Tyler LaJoy from third. Nagani out to a one to nothing lead. Nagani tacks on another run to their advantage. Zane Radloff hits the sacrifice fly bringing home Dusty Goupel from third and it's two to nothing Nagani. But the sixth inning is when all the magic happens for the Braves. Tom Bailey comes up with a big hit. The first baseman lines this shot down the left field line. Blake Ballard and Christian Grolo score as Bailey goes into second base with a double. Gladstone takes the 3-2 lead and Sam Pouliot would make it stand with a complete game effort on the mound. Braves beat the Miners 4-2. To, to the scoreboard, game two was Escanaba 16, Marquette nothing in that game. Game three was Nagani, Mark, uh, Nagani 14, Marquette 4. And in the championship game, it was Escanaba 5, Gladstone 1, MVP pitcher of the tournament. Devin Olson with a complete game four hitter and offensive MVP, Tim Lunenberg with three for three to two RBIs in the championship. Legion baseball, as it was Marquette, and they took on the Blues. Uh, the Blues took on Hancock in Marquette, and the Hancock was playing their first game of the year. Bottom of the first, Ryan Hansen at the plate. Mike Sari sails this over the head of Brad Jutanen and into left as Ryan Walther comes in to score to take a 1-0 lead. Jacks were full for Hancock in the bottom of the second. McKinley Larson serves up the wild pitch in the dirt. Brady Turner slides in for the run as the game is tied at one apiece. In the third, Hancock adds their lead. Brad Jutanen ropes this one over the head of the second baseman and into right field. Tyler LaDuran would come in to score from second base and Hancock leads 2-1. to one. And this Hancock team didn't look like they were opening the season this afternoon because Mike Sari in the top of the six drives this pitch all the way down the line and right, driving home another run. Hancock gets their first win of the season as they beat Marquette 8-1 to one in game one. And the scoreboard for game two as Riley Lynch had two hits, three runs batted in as they go on to beat Hancock 11-7 to seven in the second one. And we go to high school softball as the Newberry, Newberry softball tournament as they won, they uh, fell to Brimley 8 to six, and they also they beat Brimley 18 to six. Excuse me, as they fell to Westwood 13 to three, and also other softball. Marquette was in Midland. They fell six to one. Fell six to one to Ogama, but they won 15 to nothing against Midland. Gladstone in Reed City softball tournament. They completed the sweep nine to two, 11 to nothing, and in the championship game, 11 to nothing over Reed City. And Escanaba and Pulaski did not play due to the weather. Our website at UpperMichiganSource.com for all the scores and information.